These are so good and so easy. Hey, what's up? It's Vince Leah. The holidays are upon us. And one of my favorite all time desserts is an Italian Pizzelle cookie. Now I haven't really had any since becoming vegan. I'm not really sure where to go to get any. I'll make some for you, Vince. Hey, what's up, Brian? Hey, how's it you going? You guys know Brian, the sexy vegan? Hi. Where are we gonna go make them? Well, how about right here, since we're in my house? Oh. Yeah, you're in my house. We'll make them. Okay, that'll work. So here we are, we're in my kitchen. Hey, I see you uh, decorated for the holidays. Oh, yeah, I mean, I don't do it. I, I pay a company to do it, but yeah. It looks great, I think they could do a great job. It's very expensive. So let's get started making these pizzelles. Now you can flavor these any number of ways. Uh, you could use lemon zest, orange zest, you could put cocoa powder in there, make chocolate ones. Uh, but I'm gonna make my favorite one, which is the anise flavored ones, like sort of that little black licorice. Because uh, that's the one uh, that my grandmother used to make, and my nana, and all my aunts, and everybody. And the first thing we have to do is we have to mix up our vegan egg. It's very simple. We basically have two tablespoons of the mix. It's like this sort of like yellow powder. And then uh, we have to have ice cold water. So I just like uh, put some ice cubes in there this water here. You need a half a cup of the ice water. Add this to the vegan egg powder and we begin to whisk. It's very important that you use ice cold water. It helps the texture. It's got something to do with science, I'm sure. You'll see that it will begin to thicken up as I mix it. So here is your vegan egg. See, it's kind of gotten thicker and kind of stiffer. Now uh, that our vegan egg is mixed, we are gonna add sugar. I like to use, you know, evaporated cane juice, uh, organic, uh, you know, good, good stuff. Uh, I mean, I know it's still sugar, but look, it's the holidays. Just be healthy every other, all, all the other times. Forget about it, just have some sugar. So we're gonna uh, whisk this vigorously um, for about a minute just to get that sugar incorporated. It doesn't have to be totally in salt. You can also use a beater, an electric beater if you wanted to, but uh, I need the exercise. But I can handle this because this arm and this forearm is very strong for some reason, a lot stronger than this one. This one gets a lot more exercise. I don't know, it's weird. Now we've got our egg mixture, egg mixture uh, beaten up with the uh, sugar. And we're gonna add some more of our liquid ingredients. So I've got some uh, melted vegan margarine. Gonna add that. So we're gonna add a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of this anise oil. The lid's not even off and I can still smell it. And not too much of this stuff. You just want this in the background. Quarter teaspoon of the vanilla, quarter teaspoon of the anise oil. Always put your lids right back on because if you spill one of these things, you're gonna smell like licorice for a month. Not that that's a bad thing. Uh, okay, so let's let's uh, mix this. Right here is what we have as our wet mix. Now we're gonna move over to our dry mix. So here we have uh, about three quarter, three quarter cups of flour plus an extra like two tablespoons or so. Your basic all-purpose, unbleached all-purpose flour. To that, we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of the baking powder. Just for a little bit of leavening. A little pinch of salt. Even though we're doing a, a uh, sweet dessert here, salt just always enhances any flavors. Gonna give that a quick mix to uh, Combine it. And now we have our wet mix and we have our dry mix and we're gonna to switch to a uh, spatula and we're just gonna kind of fold these together. And you don't wanna overwork it because the more you overwork batter or dough like this, uh, the more gluten is gonna form and the sort of chewier your cookie will be and it won't have as crisp a texture. Keep folding this and this isn't, it's gonna be somewhere between a batter and a dough. And that is basically what your dough is gonna look like. This is essentially it. So that was really, really easy. Now we will move on to the cooking portion of this recipe, which is super fun and fast. All right, let's do it. To make your pizzelles, you do need uh, a special piece of equipment. Mm, don't love having anything that does just one thing. I make an exception for pizzelles. So this is a pizzelle maker. Uh, it is sort of like a uh, waffle maker, but it makes really thin cookies because these are called Italian waffle cookies. They have these really intricate, cool designs that you'll see in a minute. It gets super hot, and it's it's like a like a griddle, like a like a, you know like you'd make uh, waffles, you know. So we're gonna start by doing just a little cooking spray, just so you can see those really cool designs. Uh, then we're gonna load up. I have I have two tablespoons here. Kind of want to do a big rounded tablespoon like that, and then we just. Put one there, put the other one here, and then as fast as you can, clamp it down. And then while those are going, these only take about 20 seconds uh, in the in the, in the pizzelle maker. Now that you have these ready to go, so we just take them off. Just gonna let them dry on that rack. We're just gonna keep going. Now 
One of the really awesome things that we can do with these when they're still warm out of the maker is we can roll them. So we can make these into a cannoli shell, like this. You could also make it into a cone. So it's still hot, kind of burning my fingers a little bit, but I'm gonna set it down right like that. So now we have this nice, nice hard shell uh, that we could fill with any type of cannoli filling. What I would do is like take this and dip it in some melted chocolate, some sprinkles, whatever those little like, not like, not like Jimmy sprinkles like for ice cream, but they're like those little tiny balls. I don't know, I don't know about baking that much or desserts. You dip that in there and then let that dry and you'll have this nice, chocolatey, colorful coating there, and then you could pipe in any type of uh, uh, cannoli style filling that you want. Oh my God, these are so good and so easy. And you could also like just add some cocoa powder to the mix and you get these beautiful chocolate flavored and nice brown looking pizzelles. But it's really, really important to lay them out on a rack like this. It helps them dry out a little bit and firm up. Uh, if you just started stacking them on top of each other, they would get too steamy. They would get all weird and they wouldn't uh, get nice and crispy like they're supposed to. Uh, so now we're just gonna hit these with some powdered sugar and they'll be done. Don't miss any, get it on there. And they only need to really cool on this rack for not even 10 minutes, just under 10 minutes and they'll be ready to go. So it all happens really, really fast, really, really easy. Wanna dig into these time, bad boys? Time to dig in. Let's do it. To these pizzelles, look at that. Oh look at that. my gosh. They're almost too beautiful to eat. I mean, no, we're well, gonna eat them. Yeah, we're, yeah, yeah definitely. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so good, right? It's like taking me back to my childhood. I know. I feel like my family's in town or something. They're not, are they? I hope not. Cause we're gonna have to clean this place up. Although, why would they come to my house? That would be weird. Yeah, we'll go meet them. <laughs> Okay, we'll meet them somewhere. We'll okay. meet them out. That way, yeah. That way, more cookies for yeah. We could save ours, yeah, yeah, for ourselves. All right, exactly. Cheers, cheers. So if you like this awesome cookie recipe, give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite holiday cookie is. Brian, where can people find you? You can find me at thesexyvegan.com, and you can also find my new uh, Sexy's Best Micro Book series at 99publishing.com, and I am The Sexy Vegan at all places on the internet, social media, and all of this. And I'll put links to all those in the description box below, as well as the recipe. You get this recipe. With these you cookies. get it. It's down below. Down below. Down below. All right, don't forget to subscribe, too. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.